were hunting 20 feet directly above a feeder to shoot straight down on the largest, most mightiest buck named Megatron on the Buzzfuss property. And we're using the tiniest and mightiest bow, the Gearhead Disruptor. We're gonna have to put an inflatable camo doll right above the feeder to get the deer used to it. Let's go hunt for Megatron. Oh my, oh my god, god, dude! Bill, I'm glad you showed up. Uh, one. Because I'm about to go hunting and uh, I bought all these Halloween dummies or party favor dummies for like bachelorette parties. I'm putting a tree saddle stand 20 feet up right above a feeder. Like a 10 yard shot. Well, you know, deer, they're gonna see me on a little pine tree. So I'm putting a dummy in the tree. That's not a dummy. What is it? It looks like me. <laughs> Does it? All right, so Big Bill understands. We're taking Little Bill, the inflatable doll, and putting it directly above the feeder so the doll gets the deer used to seeing it at such a close distance because I'm going to become that dummy and hunt right above the feeder. And we need to be sharp and ready because we're hunting the oldest, biggest buck named Megatron who has always been nocturnal because we use trough feeders that allow nighttime feeding. Until this year, we used a daytime dead ball feeder and now he's daytime trained. You can see circles of feeder at night and now he's hitting it during the day. And I think I can, I can take him, but I'm gonna need to put this doll up there and thank God I have a hunter safety system lifeline because it's a little bitty pine tree. So I'm gonna be moving in the wind but we're gonna have big, big Bill and little Bill in the in the thrill of this hunt. Let's go after Megatron. It's a first, first set in a saddle for Megatron. We're Twenty feet up above the feeder. Well, there's our first does. They're kind of on to me though. I gotta be real still.
Oh, I was full draw, but the doe kind of scared it. So I'm uh, gonna let down, cause we're really here for Megatron, the biggest, oldest, gnarliest nocturnal buck on the property. But I'm just jonesing to shoot a deer with my new bow. You know how it is when you get a new bow that you love that's shooting awesome? You gotta check out these gearhead bows. But anyway, this is brought to you by Buck Feather. Speaking of Megatron, this is a mega Buck Feather logo. I don't even know if we make this shirt, but you can go check out all of our USA made outdoor apparel at buckfeather.com and go check out those Morel targets at morelltargets.com. Go give them a look, but we're gonna finish this Megatron hunt. Stick around. First of all, I don't wear white. This isn't meant to be a hunting camo. Okay. It's an American-made hoodie, by the way. You got a USA shirt that's made in China. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's unfortunate. Everything is made in China. Let me see. Uh-oh. Uh, made in Nicaragua. Sorry. We got our first buck coming out. He's gonna come into the silhouette. That's that white powder that can help you hunt till dark dirty. Get a little footage of him here on the Snapchat. He's eating it up. Megatron has been coming into this feeder, but if you notice that white attractant, it's called Silhouette. We put some out because we're just trying to keep Megatron in the area, and Silhouette's gonna be a game changer. I can hunt to the final 30 seconds of legal shooting time because if Megatron comes in to this white attractant, he's gonna Silhouette himself and I'll be able to make a clean ethical shot. I'll know exactly where his vitals are. Y'all check out Deer 30's silhouette, and we're gonna be hunting Dark 30 tonight for Megatron.
Dude, I know it was Megatron. Okay. Uh, I kind of blacked out. That really feels okay about the shot. I don't know if you looked at it. Oh yeah, yeah, I looked at it. You stuck him in the front shoulder. It caught like the very front part of his shoulder bone, but it looked like at least half the arrow penetrated. So you should be all in his heart and lungs. That's what I'm fighting, Belly. Oh my god. We got fucking Megatron. Dude, he didn't go far. Oh my god. Look at the cow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh shoot, he's still alive. Look. I've been waiting a long time. The tiniest, mightiest bow killed the biggest buck we have, I think, on the property. This is a legend. After, I, I mean, years. I think we've been knowing about him for four years and he's been dwarfing every buck. And today I literally was thinking, we, we started this hunt with little Bill. No need to flash little Bill. He's our inflatable safety man to go after big scary bucks like this. And we had him up there in the tree in the tree saddle and we took the the mightiest, tiniest disruptor bow in the industry that shoots unreal. And I started thinking in the stand, I'm going after the biggest, mightiest buck with the tiniest bow. And I'm hunting with my dad. Cause I had little Bill with me in the ground blind watching. And I'm like, you know, my dad's still living, but it hit me tonight. I said, how many times am I hunting with my dad lately? It's like you drift apart and you grow apart the older you get. And it just makes me want to say, if y'all have an uncle or a dad or a grandpa still around, y'all try to make the effort to go hunt with them. Because I'm telling you, you go into hunting with them, with your, you know, whoever brought you out there first, then you want to do it on your own so much. But I'm telling y'all, you're going to want to try to hunt with your loved ones more and more and more. And you forget about it because you're trying to be the man, you're trying to go after the biggest bucks in the woods. And that's why I wanted to dedicate Megatron to my dad and little Bill, because he was the one that drug me out in a, into the woods when I was three and five years old and got me into this. And it's a lifelong obsession. And I, I definitely have to say thanks to God, because I mean, to pull this off, it is an act of God. And to hold a mature legend that is big as a cow, named Megatron. I am a lucky, lucky white boy. That's all I gotta say. Just lucky and blessed.